So now, class, tapos na tayo dun sa pagkocompute ng area using the formulas of triangles. Ngayon, gagamitin naman natin yung DMD. So, or yung double meridian distance method. Kapag gagamitin natin yung double meridian distance, hal yung magpre-prevail dito or halos magagamit natin is si departure. So, always tandaan na departure yung halos gagamitin natin sa double meridian distance. So, explain ko yung procedure natin. The DMD of the first line, wherein dito yung first line natin is from course 1 to 2, is equal to its corresponding departure. So, yung DMD niya daw, kung ano yung departure niya, yun yung DMD niya in simple terms. So, yung DMD ng 1 to 2 is negative 122.630. For the rule number 2 naman, the DMD of the next line, so yung next line ng 1 to 2 natin is from 2 to 3, is equal to the DMD of the first line. So yung DMD down ng first line natin, which is negative 122.630 plus the DM, the departure of the course itself. So, kukunin natin yung departure ng course from 2 at saka 3. So, ano yung, de uh, ano yung departure? Plus, negative, 122.630 plus departure ng 2 to 3 natin, which is negative, 76.796 equals negative 322.057057 So yun, apply natin yung rule number 2 para malaman natin yung DMD from course 3 to 4 Sabi dito, the DMD of the next line is equal to to the DMD no sinundan niyang line. Ano ba yung sinundan na line ni 3 to 4? Eto, 2 to 3. So, ikakapipaste lang natin yung DMD niya dito. So, negative 322.057 plus yung DMD bago siya, bago yung line na yun. Let's, hindi pala DMD, departure pala, which is equal siya sa negative 76.796 plus yung departure nung course natin which is equal siya sa 43.719 equals negative 355.133 so yun let's now solve for the double meridian distance of course from 4 to 1. So, applying first rule. Ay, second rule pala. The DMD of the next line is equal to the DMD of the first line. So, yung first line dito is through 3 to 4. Yun yung sinundan ni 4 to 1. Which is equal siya sa negative 355.133 plus yung DMD ay plus yung departure pala nung 3 to 4 which is equal siya sa 43.719 plus yung departure nung 4 to 1 mismo equal siya sa 155.707 so yan compute lang natin so Maging siya negative 155.707. So right now, paan natin ma-check? Or sabihin natin ano, yung general procedure niya. General procedure lang niya is, let's say, itong from 2 to 3. 
kopyahin mo lang yung DMD nung naunang course, plus yung departure nung naunang course, plus yung departure nung course mismo. Yes, kaya ito. Copy-paste lang yung procedure hanggang matapos ka dun sa last course. So, yung tanong dito is, paano natin malalaman kung tama ba yung pinagagawa mo? So, titignan lang natin yung sign nung nakuha nating DMD nung last line at saka yung sign nung departure nung last line natin. Applying rule number 3, the DMD of the last line is equal to its departure with opposite sign. Sa opposite ba yung sign niya? Itong nakuha nating DMD nung last line natin is negative 155.707. So, opposite sign. Positive yung departure niya. Negative naman yung kanyang DMD. So, paano naman natin makukuha yung ano? Double area. Yan. So, magkakaroon na ngayon ng silbi yung latitude. Yung latitude. Paano? So, sa DMD ha, yung double area equal siya sa double area ng line, let's say from 1 to 2, is equal siya sa DMD ng line from 1 to 2 multiplied by the latitude from 1 to 2. And so on and so forth. Let's say sa 4 to 1 naman, palitan mo lang to. The double area from course 4 to 1 is equal to DMD ng 4 to 1 times yung latitude from 4 to 1. So, ayun. So, susolve na natin yung double area niya. So, DMD natin, negative 122.630 multiplied by 631 pala to. Ay, 630. Yan. 630 pwede na yan. Multiplied by 77.674. Yung makukuha natin is negative 9,525.24. So, yung DMD natin sa 2 to 3, which is negative 322.057. I-multiply natin sa latitude niya. So, mag-a-arrive tayo sa positive 93,396.208. So, ganun din yung procedure para makuha natin yung double area from 3 to 4. So, negative 355.113. Multiply natin sa latitude niya. So, yung makukuha natin answer is 15,662.4. 3, 1. Same dito. etong DMD niya, multiply natin sa latitude. So, yung makukuha nating answer is negative 39,927.635. Ngayon, yung area natin is equal siya sa 1 half nung summation nung one half nung summation ng double area natin which is naka absolute value siya so area is equal sa one half nung absolute value nung summation ng area natin nung double area natin so isa summation lang natin to pag a-add lang natin sila so, the summation of our double area is equal to Absolute value. So, 59,605.764. So, apply natin dito sa ating formula na to. 1 half. So, yung nakuha natin, which is 59,605.764. So, yung area na makukuha natin dyan is... twenty nine thousand eight hundred two point eighty eight square meter
So, konti lang yung discrepancy using area. Using triangles naman. So, ito yung method using double meridian distance. So, paulit lang. So, in computing for the DMD, lagi natin ginagamit yung departure. Tapos, magagamit lang yung latitude kapag i-compute na natin yung double area.